place. Now, someone else who's awesome, close on the heels of Lee DeWise and Crystal Bower socks, was third place finalist Casey James, who joins us now. Congratulations, man. Thanks, man. Yeah. We love him. We love now, this guy. Did you ever think that you would get this far in the competition, making it to the final three, going back and visiting the hometown and the parades and everything? No, I really didn't, man. I really didn't. Like, uh, you know, doing what I do as a musician, you just think, uh, I, I didn't think that it would be an outlet that I would succeed at, to be honest with you. No, I'm not the, ah, uh, big note guy or, you know, really a vocalist. And uh, so I'm, you know, really shocked. Yeah. Well, people love you. Well, you obviously did very you. well. This is proof that people love even the singer that's not doing the, you know, the big money. No, it's not about right. that. But we do want to know, did you vote? Did you vote for the winner? Um, I mean, you guys know this. There's no time. Right. Like, yeah, even if I, right. I mean, it, you know, to say that I wanted to vote for one or the other, they're both friends of mine, and, and they both right. deserve it. And right. so, uh, you know, not having the time is an issue, you know. I mean, I right. didn't even have my phone for those hours. So. Right. Well, yeah, of course. Were you a little, little busy having to learn five, six thousand songs <laughs> yeah, for the finale? Exactly. Exactly. Come yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because, you know, you go into rehearsals uh, the night of, right? Yeah, yeah you do rehearsals yeah. after the, the, the Tuesday yes. night performance. You go yes. right into rehearsals yes. for yes. People at home don't realize that it's just happening in the moment, you yeah. know? Yeah. Now, one of the most surprising moments last night during the finale was when Brett Michaels took the stage and performed Every Rose Has Its Thorn with you. Man, what was oh, that like oh, to be man. a part of that? I mean, Brett Michaels' first music performance after all this recent uh, trouble he's had physically. You know, I mean, the guy is just amazing, first of all, and he's just a good guy. And, uh, you know, with all that he's went through, to be able to be a part of, of him coming back and performing, is, you know, one of the biggest honors in my entire life. So I'll never forget that moment. Yeah. Pretty surreal, the opportunities that American Idol brings around, yeah, right? Yeah, you know, yeah. it's so much. It happens so quick, and, and there's so many things that happen to you, and you're just like, I can't believe that just happened. And I haven't even had a chance to soak it all in. But that one, specifically, yeah. is just... It's hit me so hard, and I, I, you know, woke up this morning. I immediately YouTube, and I was like, I've got to see this. Is that crazy? It was amazing. And so, did he give you any advice, you know, going into your future? Um, he had so much to say. I mean, it was one of those deals where, I mean, I'm still soaking it all in. I mean, mm -hmm. he, he's just, he's just such a good guy in every right. way. He has a lot to say. Well, awesome. there was briefly, there was a, a quote that he, uh, that was in the paper today that uh -huh. said that my doctors don't know that I'm doing this. I'm only at about 70% right. physically. And, uh, you know, yeah, he's like, <laughs> but he said he needed to do it for his soul and uh, that he had to do it last night. And, and he just said, I may collapse later, but I got to do this right now. Yeah, so, you know, it was like, I was nervous because, you know, everything he's went through, but uh, right. he did so well. And I mean... It's just another testament to the guy's strength. Yeah. Absolutely. He's a legend. He is. <laughs> We've got more questions for Casey coming up after the break.